Welcome back. Now news from sports. Wallyu chess silver medalist Ivana Futadu arrives at Daboli Airport on Tuesday evening to a rousing welcome. The Punji-based chess sensation claims second place in the under-10 category at the world event held at Antalya, Turkey. Ivana's father, Ali Futado, stated that Ivana, with her tremendous hard work, has reached a professional level. The Dempo Goodwill Ambassador was received at the airport by her family members, friends and officials of the Goa State Chess Association. Ivana, who has clinched the world gold medal twice in the past, missed the top position by a narrow margin this time round. Nevertheless, her immense determination and love for chess has seen Ivana grow up for bigger challenges. I enjoyed my tournament. I played 11 rounds, I won 7 rounds, I drew 3 rounds and I lost 1 round. Who was the toughest competitor in this? The toughest competitor was one girl from Russia. Ivana's mother Jennifer and father Ellie were delighted with the way she has stuck to the task of doing her best over the last five years. This tournament was a very important tournament for us because Ivana has completed five glorious years and she has completed it with the silver. Well, it is very exciting. Most importantly, it is the hard work that Ivana has put and her grandmasters, uh, Mr. Arbi Ramesh, who has been assisted by B.S. Shivananda and others, they have done the hardest work of all. Well, it is easy on us to wait and watch them perform. And uh, Ivana, interestingly, did very, very well this time. And uh, in the words of uh, R.B. Ramesh, uh, he says that she is now playing very professionally. She is showing very consistent performance at the top level, even at the international level. And the age of the age group category tournament is more difficult and tough. Our reporter from Vasco, Surendra Madkaikar. The Indian national football team is currently in the middle of a training stint in Goa. The international stars are practicing day in and day out at Kunkoli football ground. India will be involved in an international friendly match later this year, and the boys are working hard for the upcoming challenge. The training session is supervised by head coach Bob Horton and his coaching staff comprising Savi Madeira, Antonio Marcos Pacheco, Suresh Babu and physio Gagan Kapoor. India was supposed to play a friendly against Iraq in December in New Delhi. However, since FIFA has recently suspended the Iraqi Football Association, India's opponents are yet to be finalised. Nevertheless, the camp is in full swing despite some injury niggles to few players. Captain Baichung Butia is one of the injury concerns and is currently out on a break. Dempo midfielder Climax Lawrence and defender Anwar Ali are also nursing injuries. Houghton's boys have not played any international since the Nehru Cup win in August and the senior squad is not scheduled to play any competitive tournament anytime soon. India will be fielding an under-23 squad for December's SAF Cup in Dhaka, Bangladesh. The suspension of Iraq seems to have come as a spoiler as the AIFF have made plans to give the senior national side a tough outing against the current Asian champions. The AIFF will now have to redraw their plans and fix up right opponents to test out the boys as we look ahead to the 2011 Asian Cup. Our sports reporter Noel D'Souza with reporter Ramesh Naik Raut. It's hard to remember the attack by the terrorists in Mumbai on 26 November last year. More than 150 people were dead and their families will observe their first anniversary on 26th 11th this year. Famous Goan artist Subodh Kerkar has established inhuman acts of terrorists through his installation. Let's have a look at the clips and remember the great martyrs. I take your leave for now. Take care and keep watching Prudent Media.